Welcome to Revelation Church Online. We pray you'll be blessed and encouraged by today's message. Feel free to hit the red subscribe button and bell icon in the lower right hand side of your screen to get the latest videos as soon as they're released. Now here's today's word. How can the ark of the Lord come to me? Very, very strange title, isn't it? Very, very strange. Um, and yes, everybody knows the ark of the Lord, why uh, it was given. You shall build according to the model I've shown you in the mountain. Uh, you, you're not building on your own. You're not doing anything on your own, by the way. Uh, the second you touch that word, the, the second you touch that tree, in that case, you know, which was not the tree that God has recommended, what will happen to you? You will die. That's the word of God. The word of God is very precise. When, when the Lord, uh, now, how is God speaking to us today? How is he speaking to us? God, is, is he speaking to us today? Yes, you better believe he better speak to you. Uh, you know, the, the sons of God are directed by the Spirit of God. Okay, from within, that is. Uh, and, and then from within and also through prophets. Through the, the Lord has not done away with apostles. Oh, yeah, but you see, the last 2,000 years, we don't hear anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Word of God cannot be changed. Okay, so the Lord, the, the Father, has given some as, some men as, the gift, these are gift of man, the gift of God. So he has gift, gifted the earth with some as, not everybody, so, sometimes you go to school, there are schools, uh, everybody now becomes an apostle. Really? Wow. Okay. Uh, and, and then they all become prophets. And they all become healers. And they all become miracle workers. And they all become... Wait a minute, we all have gifts that differ from one another. It is written. I didn't write that. So the Word of God is secret. Nobody can change it. Now, if you have the intention, no, you thank God. If someone has an intention to change it, you will die. This is at the severity of our Father. This is a CV. Oh, no, see, Pastor Ken, please, come here. Pastor Ken, please. We're talking about the good God. You see, he's good. No, 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 he is good. Yes, all the time. God is good. Oh, you mean? Okay, but, uh, Yes, he is good. But he is also justice. He's righteousness. So we're going to see a situation in this case which is odd to me. I'm like, and we're gonna, I know you guys, you know the story, but you're going to be like, oh my God, you're right. I didn't think about that. So we're going to study that. Turn to, to, uh, with me to the book of 2 Samuel 6.2. You don't have to, by the way, it's right there. Uh, but in David, King David, arose and went with all the people who were with him to Baal Judah to bring for from I'm sorry, to bring up from there the ark of God, which is called by the name. What? The very name of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned above the, cher the cherubim. So at that time, you know, uh, in, again, we, in the Old Testament, you know, that was representing the presence of God. That was representing where, how God could meet uh, between himself and mankind. So, and, but at that time, they had a war against the Philistines, and the Philistines stole the Ark of Covenant. It sounds very odd, but they stole away from Israel the Ark. And they, they are with it for 20-some years. And now, as a result, do you think they will be blessed? No. They, what happened, they, 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 they got all sorts of tumors and, and, and uh, there was a massacre and they came to, to, to a point where they're like, listen, we have to go and get rid of this ark because it belongs to Israel. It doesn't belong to us. 
So, so, and, and the, so now David in 2 Samuel 6, all of a sudden arose and went with all the people. He said, okay, guess what? We're going to go and get the, the ark back to us. So that is that context. So they placed the ark on, of God on a new cart that they might bring it from the house of Abinadab, which was on a hill. Now, Abinadab is a priest. Uh, he's a Levite. Uh, but look at what they're doing. They placed the ark of God on a what? On a what? On a new cart. Now, if some of you may know the Old Testament and the law, and you should know the law, uh, what is the law, what the law says about that? They have to carry it on their shoulders. So now, all of a sudden, someone somewhere decides on his own, then instead of carrying on your shoulders as a high priest or a priest, you are now putting the ark of God on a new cart. Now, to me, and I was studying that because it's not easy to, to understand that, God said to me, he said, this is a sin, right there. Right there, this is a sin. Because, oh my God, God is not that severe. You see, uh, we, we can do that. And this is how you get killed. This is how, in this negligence, in this uh, irreverence, you, you will see later on, uh, this is how you get killed. Not by God, but your own sin, you see? So, and I'm like, well, why you reveal what's with this situation, you know? And when the Lord has spoken, He has given you a word. And you heard through the prophetic, uh, you know, the word is sacred. You cannot alter it. Oh, yeah, but I know, I know, I know. The shoulder, I understand that. Uh, but, but you know what, for now, yeah, but put it on the cart, and then it, 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 uh, an animal will, will carry it. That was not God's will from the beginning, because a lot of people made a case against, you will see the Uzzah later on. Oh, yeah, see, he, was, he, uh, he didn't believe. He, he was one of those uh, uh, pagans. No, he was a high priest. He was a priest of God. He was called by God. And he's the son, by the way, of this man, Abinadab. So, and look at what is written in the second part. And Uzzah and Eiyo, the sons of Abinadab. So they are the sons of the high priest. You know, we're leading the new court. They were priests, they, they were protected, right? No, no. They were disobedient to the word of God. When God has decided to, remember to, to, to the lady, our old grandmother, remember that? You, you can eat everything you want. Don't, please do me a favor. Don't touch this tree. The second you touch it, forget about eating, the second you touch you're dead. And, and in the same spirit, hey, God is so good, you know, good, uh, is our God, you know, we love him, he loves us, you know, all right. Really? God is sacred. You know, and by the way, if you are not, and, and I know this, it's not accepted in the church of Christ to, th to think this way, if you don't get rid of that, you shall never see God. You know what? I'm exposing myself, guys. I'm a... This is what I do. If you don't get rid of that, you shall never see God. I didn't say it. You know, the, it is written, God is the father of lights. He, is, he dwells in lights where nobody has seen it. Nobody has seen God. Except Jesus. Remember that? So, why? so sometimes we treat him like, uh, and, and yes, we should treat him as a father, as a good father. Yes, we should treat him as we, with respect, uh, as, a, as, as a God of compassion. Yes. But do not, in the meantime, twist his word. When the Lord has spoken to you, 
These days, he speaks through the prophets. He speaks through the apostles. He speaks through the pastors. He speaks. Sometimes God will give you a word. And you're like, eh, forget it. Uh, I, I'm going to go see my doctor, you know. No. Are you serious? God told you you are healed. Go home. You're healed. And now you're like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, thank you for the word. I love you. You love me. I know that. Bye-bye. You know what you're doing? You're doing the very same thing as Uzzah and also of your grand-grand-grandmother Eve. You know, this is a serious, uh, and I will not preach that to, to everybody. I'm preaching that to our church, you know, because we know better. So we're going to see the consequences of that Uzzah, the way he acted. So in the book, uh, I'm sorry, verse 5. Meanwhile, David, King David, in all the house of Israel, where they were celebrating before the Lord because they, they knew the, the, the ark was restored to them. So they were celebrating with all kinds of instruments made of fir wood with lyres, harps, tambourine, castanets, cymbal. I can't imagine. There was like a party there. There was, a, 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 you know, singing, you know, and so the both things they didn't know. Now, you know, you need to, to keep a, a distance of about, I think it was about 3,000 cubits, which just happened to be half a mile. I don't know if you understand me. You have to be about half a mile from the ark. Or <laughs> something will happen. So they were there. They were not in the midst of them. They were a little bit far about you know, I calculated the other day, 3,000 cubit is about half a mile. So, the, 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 you know, the, the, the ark is over there, and, and they're dancing and they're rejoicing there. Uh, it, you could be like, my gosh, why can they go close to the ark? You know, this is a secret, the presence of God is. In us, we have received the presence of God. Where is the presence of God in the New Testament, guys? Because of? The cross. Look, here you cannot touch the divine nature unless you go through the. How do we go? The cross. So, but back then, this is the, the presence of God is right there, and it has been confined or has been trusted to the man of God, which happened to be the high priest. So they're supposed to do the work in the ministry of God. So let's see what's going on. But when they came to the threshing floor of Nacon, Yuza reached out toward the ark of God and took hold of it. Oh. For the oxen nearly upset it. Now, can you save the presence of God? Can you be a savior of God? Can you heal him? Can you touch him? Can you, uh, uh, Lord, uh, 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 let me help you. Could you do something like that? Yeah, you can, if you want to die, you do that. And a lot of people do that. A lot of people, they, they, they think they can help God on their own. On their own. You know when they operated like that? They operated in this nature. Now, there's another angle to all that. You could be, oh, see, no. Pastor Cam, you know, nice. See, you wanted to help God. You see, and, and uh, uh, see, it is written, the oxen nearly upset it. You know, me, if it were me, I would help them. But if you see that the ox stumble on that, you know, being pushed by, by the oxen, do you think God can save himself? Can he? Is he able to? Of course. He doesn't need a man, especially when he has spoken. Be careful. I, 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 we don't have the time this morning to cover where it is. But you need to trust me or, or, or trust God. Uh, it, it is written, you know, the ark shall be carried on the shoulders through bar, two, two bars, 
uh, you know, with a special thing which doesn't touch the audience. It's, it's very, very complicated. Uh, and, and this is how you do it. And let's make sure then the high priest, no, not the high priest, the priest do not touch. You, you can read this all over the, all over the Old Testament. Um, don't touch it. And even less open. Can you imagine that? Some people, some Philistine, they went and they, they opened it up and died on the spot. Whoa. See, this is the a, a, a sovereign or a, a holy a God is. And I told you about half a mile. Wow. Do you remember when the demon were coming around Jesus? You know, he was, uh, they were not coming close to him. You know that? Why? Because the presence of God, the Ark of Covenant, was present inside of him. See us, oh yeah, if I see a demon, run because he's going to kill me. I'm... Whoa! You don't understand the, the New Testament. So, when the Ark of Covenant has been made into a mankind, his name is Jesus the anointed what? Man. You see, so he received the Ark of Covenant, which happened to be the name. Remember that in the beginning? He received the name. He received the presence of God inside of him. Now, the demons were flying away about 100 feet from him. They do. They don't go like, yo, I'm going to fight you. You'll say, yeah, I go. They don't do that. They will be like, who are you? So this is a man of authority and a, a, a woman as well. But you don't fight against the Son of God. You know, the reason why he dies is for you and me. See, that's the reason why he accepted to die, you see. So, but, but the devil was like, oh. <laughs> he's over there. Oh, my God, let's go this way. Like, you, come back here. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> You've seen it sometimes on healing nights. Oh, Pastor Cam, you're not going to compare yourself to Jesus, are you? What's the answer to that? Okay, so. And the anger of the Lord burned against Yusuf. Oh, see, God, I knew God is against us. See, poor Uzzah, well, he was so good, but God was so bad. Is, is this what happened? Who disobeyed by putting the, cart, the, the ark on the, on, the, on the cart? Who? Yusa did it, and I'm not saying it's, I'm rejoicing in his death, but look at And God struck him down there for his praising, for his irreverence. And he died there by the ark of God. Can you imagine this? Guy? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not saying he suffered. You know, God is able to remove your breath, and you are in an instant in His presence. So it's it's very sad. I, when I wear them, I, I used to read that years ago. I used to be mad. I'm like, oh my God, wow! Can you imagine? Whoa! Yeah. So now I'm more mature. <laughs> I know a little bit better, okay? And look, David, King David, became angry because of the Lord's outburst against Uzzah. And that place is called Perez Uzzah to this day, which is, you know, the, I think it's translated, the anger of God has burst out, you know? So basically, it's a lost fault here. See, the, the way he's mad, he's like, I'm done. I cannot, now I'm going to leave the, the ark there, and then no, I, I don't know how we're going to carry it. I don't know. But would you not do the same? I would be like, uh, okay. Uh, Philistine, hey, you want to keep it? So David was afraid of the Lord that day. And he said, that was my title, how, how can the ark of the Lord come to me? Now, the ark of the Lord has come. And where is it today? Inside of you. 
Can you imagine that? You carry now the presence of God, not on your shoulder, but in your heart. Can you imagine if someone decided to, I'm going to go against, she's just an example, please, against Joanne, against Pastor Glenn, against his wife, against Donna, against you name it. What to that person who decided that? I'm going to steal his tool, tools. I'm going to go and remove uh, whatever. Can you imagine that? Do you think the Lord will be like, no, 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 don't you worry about it. You know, they're all being persecuted. Do you think God will do that? If men, I mean, if, if God is for me, what can men do to me? You see? So you have to be careful when you hear about, see, we're going to enter now into a period of uh, persecutions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? What do you mean? They're going to go against, fight, they're going to fight him. His name is Jesus the anointed man. They're going to go over them. They're going to be like, you, uh, we're going to destroy you. It's, this is not the gospel. Well, are you saying, Pastor Cam, that we aren't persecution? But you need to understand persecution is to be pursued. When someone pursues you, that's what persecution means. It doesn't mean you have to go through the cross, what Jesus Christ has done. So we have gone, uh, one more time, I keep repeating the same thing, it's so important. Uh, yes, Jesus died for us, but we'll, we'll go where Jesus Christ has done in the Spirit. Okay? We're not going to be crucified again, every one of us. You know? So you need to be very careful in that changing your mind. So, and David was unwilling to move the ark of the Lord into the city of David. And who blames him? Oh my gosh. But David took it aside to the house of Obed Adam the Gittite. I think that's how you say it, Gittite. And now, Obed Adam is also a priest. He's also a priest because you don't receive, you, you, you don't get in your house the Ark of the Covenant. You can't. Now, the very same way, if you're a, a Christian, a true Christian, a Christian is a following of Christ. A Christian is someone who has become like Christ. See? It's not a pure warmer or a guilty uh, soul who comes in sickness. Lord, if you have in your heart to heal me, please do the so. That is not a Christian to me. A Christian is a man of God or a woman of God who has been vested and who has been filled with the presence of God. The presence of God is called the Holy Spirit. You know that? The Holy Spirit. I didn't say the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. When He comes inside of you, your life would never be the same, ever. It happened to me. And you, I know. So he took, he took the ark and they went to Oban Adam. Thus the ark of the Lord remained in the house of Oban Adam the Gittite three months. A lot of people are, oh man, I wish I was living back then. I wish I was him. I, I would have received. You know, you got a greater gift. Every single one of us God a greater, a greater gift, except those who don't receive the Holy Spirit, except those who say, you know what, no, we don't believe that. Uh, 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 us, we don't believe, we, we, we baptize. It's all we need to be baptized in the water. You know what, if you baptize in the water, you are in this side forever. I'm, I'm going to warn you. And, and, the, and the church that believes that, and there are many, they are in this side of the cross forever. They're the one who did not take the oil. Remember that? Five were wise and five were foolish. And, and the foolish person is on this side forever. See? But the wise person is on this side. 
You see? So I know you guys, hopefully you're on this side. You know? Now, in this side, nobody can touch you. In this side, you'll be ripped apart by you know whom? Ripped apart. Until he has destroyed you, you know what I mean? If you stay there. But if you listen to me, and if you, the Lord, of course, not me, you go on the side of the cross and embrace that nature, receive the nature, receive the, uh, uh, the ark of covenant inside of you. <clears throat> you receive the promise, you receive the Holy Spirit. Now you are being born from God. See, God doesn't call you servant anymore. See, here you're a servant. Here you're a son. You see, Moses was reigning over his house as a servant, but Jesus Christ as a son. You see, now are you a servant of God or you are a son of God or a daughter? You see, so that is the beauty. And, and look at, and I know see, the Old Testament. <clears throat> And it's no reflection against the Jewish people. We love you guys. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it, we want to go together. We want to, get, to go together in the, to the blessing. We are not fighting. It's not uh, the nations or the, the, <clears throat> the Gentiles against the Jews, the Jews against the Gentiles. This is not it. Together, we want the, our house to be blessed. You see, so the second the promise of God comes inside of you, guess what happened? <clears throat> Look at The Lord God, the Lord blessed Obed, Adam, and all his soul. Once you receive the presence of God, you don't fool around in the side. You don't stay there. You need to go on the other side. God will bless the entire house. Oh, yeah, but it's very f nice for you to see Pastor again. But me, I have a, a, two dimes and, 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 and one nickel in my pocket. Oh, really? Is this what? Even if you're in the midst of the desert, God will multiply the money you have in your pocket. He won't multiply if you are on this side. Now, here, forget it. Okay? So all of a sudden, you saw that, you're like, wow. You know, of course, he didn't disturb. I'm talking about Obed Adam. He, you know, the, the, house, the, the, the presence of God is right there. Can you imagine? And, and in Old Testament, it was very, very difficult because uh, you have the house and the house. You have the ark. And who, who is allowed to go in the presence of God? Who? The high priest once a year. Wow. Now, you pray, you told me, you, you told us, you pray. You don't even think. You know, all of a sudden, wow, the Lord is inside of me. But at that time, in the Old Testament, you need to have a high priest who will go and first with all sorts of purification, gifting, uh, water purification, blood, you know, uh, my gosh, once a year, and then God willing, now he's able to go into the presence. God forbid something happened. You know, they used to have things under uh, uh, his garment. In, if he had sinned, they were pulling him out. <laughs> Whoa. And he was there for, to forgive your sins, uh, which was, you know, uh, it is impossible. It is written in the book of Hebrew. It is impossible uh, for the blood of uh, animals to cleanse you from all your sins. But now we have a, a new high priest. We have a high priest who went through heavens. <clears throat> so the model that was, that was built back then was a, just a reflection of the things to come. You know, so now we are not in the Old Testament. We are in the New Testament. You see? Look how much, look how much we have received from God. Amen? So the Lord blessed Obed Adam in the very same way he has blessed your asshole. But the enemy is seeking and searching. He's like, let me see, I'm going to see a family. Who may I destroy here? It will come, and you will know if you know the truth, 
And if you, if, if you find out that you know the truth, guess where he's gone? He's out. But God forbid for you, if he finds out, well, see, God wants to destroy all of us and the enemy is going to destroy my son, my daughter, my, my dog. You're gone. You are gone. So make sure, it, that's the reason why it is written, resist the devil. Resist him. Because he knows he's seeking. When someone knows the truth, he, he has lost all power. You need to understand how blessed you are, basically. You need to understand that God has come to live inside of you. But, and if he's not living inside of you, guess what? You are here. Oh, I, I don't want to uh, be baptized in the Holy Spirit. It's only for my... my... Whoa! You need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit yesterday in order to protect you because the oil will protect you. Remember the, 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 Samar the Samaritan? He put what? What did he put it on the on the in this this revelation? Because I didn't think about this for years. God, he put what oil, and he put he sort of uh, uh, wash the wounds with what? Number one, water, and then he put what? Wine, wine. You see, so he put wine to to disinfect and and and, and, and then and he puts he put oil. So, water, uh, the symbol of, of wine, water, one or wine, it doesn't make a difference, but the oil, the oil will protect your household. The wine is on this side, will cleanse you, but the oil will protect you. You see, like the very same way. Obed had him, I guarantee he didn't have any diseases. You're thinking, oh, uh, 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 Lord, hey, 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 stop. Uh, uh, I need to go to the doctor. So you stay there, okay? Uh, I came back. <coughs> what? What do you mean? You're going to see your doctor? What happened, what happened to him? What happened to the presence? Look, the word blessed to bless someone. You know what the word bless? It means you receive the entire benefit of God. He will protect you. No disease will enter in, no lack. You will be blessed in everything you have. Amen? So let's finish with that. Now it was told, King David saying, now it was told, yeah, King David saying, the Lord has blessed the house of Obed Adam and all that belongs to him on the account of the ark of God. Whoa. I mean, this is amazing. So David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of obed -Adam into the city of David with Lannis. So it, when it is written, he brought up, know him, because he was a king. Remember that? And the, the, uh, he, he's, a, he's a king, but he's using the high priest. So the king doesn't touch what the priest is doing, and the priest doesn't touch what the king is doing in the Old Testament. But in the New Testament, guys, I have good news. You are a royal priesthood. Amen. You receive the priesthood of, of, of uh, in, in the name. You don't even have the priesthood of Aaron. You have the priesthood of, of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you have his kingship as well. That is, to me, I'm like, wow. So I'm speaking to kings who are also high priests. Amen? Your promises are ye and amen. amen. <laughs> See, God doesn't change. He doesn't. Don't be discouraged by the enemy running after you. You know, God has put them under your feet. And if you believe my words, you will be looking it down. And then if your business is going this way, it's going to explode that way. This is the heritage of the sons of God. Amen? All right, we're going to take uh, the offering. And the offering is not to annoy the heck out of you. 
Oh yeah, the offering again. No, the offering is is obedience to the word of God. It's obedience. God said, bring to me your tithe. Does he need a tithe? No, he doesn't. But bring in my presence. And he says, he said, let no one appear in my presence with empty hands. He said, no, no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it. Oh, yeah, but see the Old Testament, uh, 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 yeah, uh, but in the New Testament, nobody gives the, oh, really? Oh, you, you know better than God. You know, that is not the truth at all. It is written, let the man of God, let, let the preacher, let the, the prophet, let the apostle live from the gospel. This is what is written, you see. So you are not giving him a favor. You are doing your work because as you do that, God will bring what you need. My gosh. He will bring, you will be, oh my God, where the $200,000, uh, listen to me, the, the, the $2,000 come from? What, what, what happened to this job? I didn't think about this job. What happened to this? You, you know, and uh, all of a sudden, you, instead of you working on your own strength, God will work on you. He will be like, oh, you need this? What about those guys? You need this? What about these people? You become a partner, a partner together with God. You'll be blessed, you see? Amen? So here we have it. Thank you for watching this message. We encourage you to listen a few times in order to let what God revealed to sink deeper into your heart and continue to renew your mind. For more information on Revelation Church and its services, please go to revelationchurchny.com. Here's how you can honor the Lord with your giving, as well as so into the ministry of Revelation Church. To give by text, text any amount to 84321. To give online, visit revelationchurchny.com give. You can mail checks or cash to 14 Belmead Avenue in Smithtown, New York. Please make all checks out to Revelation Church.